Welcome around the world to the Monsoon Live Warrior YouTube channel. This is Monsoon Live, and this is the 2019 Hall of Fame Class of 2019 ceremony. Of course, I'm Jeffrey, the Demon Monsoon Mysic, and as we march to the return of Street Beast, today we stop to honor 14 amazing folks that made an impact on Monsoon Live this past year. Today, we induct 14 new people into the most elusive club. They will be joining the following people into the Hall of Fame. Mr. Edward F. Mysick Sr., my father. Miss Sandy L. Mysick, my mother and former executive producer of a show called Kids News. Number three, great boxer Travis Lee Hartman. Number four, Sarah Bar Bataraka. Number five, Michael Tovar, executive producer of Monsoon Live in season 13 and 14. Number six, Mr. John Wong, who got us onto the YouTube era. And of course, Mr. Eric Shea, pro wrestler who was inducted in season 14. This group now joins them and we induct these guys into Hall of Fame. Now this show is divided into two parts because of how big it is. Now there'll be a video later on explaining how we put people into the Hall of Fame, but let's get right to it. What you're going to hear is stories how these people have impacted this show and my life over the last year. So buckle up and get ready for some funny stories that will make you laugh, make you cry. But this is part one. We had to divide it because of how big it is. Each, per each person who, re who is now in the Hall of Fame will receive a certificate with their name on it, signed and dated, and I will make sure we give them to them when I see them. They're always with me now. So when I see you guys, you're going to get one of these. First off into the Hall of Fame is a man known as Mouse, a.k.a. Mighty Mouse. Mouse goes into the Hall of Fame because I want to share one or two stories. Sorry, Mouse, you can hit me later for this, but you know I'm going to get it. When I first met Mouse, it was face to face in Virginia. But before that, Mouse encouraged me on an amateur fight. It was my first exhibition bout ever, and it was on March 23rd, 2019. Mouse's encouragement during the hallway saying he got me, that he was making sure I was okay. He also made sure I had a great corner guy, and that was Angel. Made sure I was good. When I first met Mouse, we didn't know if I was going to be able to handle Street Beast, but guess what? Mouse had all the confidence in the world, much like Daniel Scholl, which we'll get later on in our broadcast. Mouse was there in my corner in my first fight, along with his wonderful wife and kid, Cash. We put Mouse in the Hall of Fame for always looking out for me, giving me wisdom, encouraging me, and of course, being in that right hand, and also helping me spar a little bit as I got get ready for my fights. The pictures that you see on Facebook of Mouse and I is a real friendship, and I'm very grateful to count Mouse as one of my friends. And I'm proud to induct Mouse into the 2000 class Hall of Fame. What was it 2019? Next up is his wonderful wife, Lisa. Lisa, cheering me on in my first fight, got me excited. It was like, you ready for this? And we were thrilled to put Lisa in. A cool story about Lisa was I got to understand the world around me in the Virginia area and encourage me. And Lisa, I said, thank you for all your great words of wisdom, encouragement throughout this and you know, Street Peace is a family, folks, and when one's missing, kind of feels awkward. And I'm glad Lisa could be part of this experience with me. And Lisa, thank you for always rooting me on into, into it. And welcome into the Hall of Fame. Okay, our next person again, is Miss Tiffany Graham. Now, Tiffany Graham designed the new logo. As you guys know, for about four years, we were under this banner. We're now under the demon era, and this is what Tiffany has designed, and we are inducting her into the Hall of Fame as the creator of the new look and part of the new feel. Tiffany, thank you. You know we're getting closer to the emotional ones. <laughs> Next up, we go to Alan A. Train Stevenson. Now, Alan is a very unique individual. He and I had a bit of a rivalry at the very beginning, way back. But Alan has proven himself to be a man of honor and integrity. And Alan gave me my first card ever 
on March 23rd, 2019. I was there. He was in my opponent's corner, but he was rooting me on, getting me pumped for my first fight into the fight world. And his, guys share this, one of the best comments ever made was, once you get in there, you'll never want to leave. Alan, I got in the cage once and I haven't wanted to leave yet. Thank you for putting me on this amazing card on March 23rd. I look forward to being on the card in October. But first, we got some business to handle at Street Beast in August. <laughs> but, Alan, thank you. And we are proud to welcome you into the class of 2019. Oh, yeah. We got to talk about this lady. Next is a person on Street Beast. And as you can tell, this is the Street Beast Hall of Fame class. Her name is Sunshine. Now, a little tip about Sunshine is she, when I first met Sunshine via, you know, she was getting me ready, and she has been one of the biggest cheerleaders for this broadcast and for me personally as a fighter. She messaged me at least one, we talk at least once a day, maybe twice a day, or maybe once every other day. But she's the one to help me get in contact with Tiffany, help hook me up with Mouse, get everything together for my first fight at Street Bees. And from then on, the sky's the limit. And you know, part of this journey is I couldn't do it without her. A lot of these folks, I can't do any of this without them. And I'm so grateful for Sunshine, for her friendship, and for everything she does for Street Beefs. So Sunshine, I thank you for this way that you go beyond anything. You go beyond the college, you're looking out for everybody. You made sure I had real friends on my Facebook. You were there for me at the very beginning of this journey into Street Beasts. And Sunshine, we thank you and we welcome you as part of my family and a part of the Hall of Fame class. Congratulations, Sunshine. And hopefully one day I can see, meet you in person and shake your hand and give you a big bear hug. Because quite frankly, you've been like a big sister to me. Next up. Ooh. <laughs> You know, we're saving two of the we're saving two big ones because you know where it's coming. Next up is the Wolverine himself, Corey Walsh, who also at the time of this recording is his birthday. So, Corey, happy birthday from all of us here at Monsoon Live. But I wanted to talk about Corey real quick. Corey, when I first met him, I was so scared of him. Okay, here's a guy wearing a street piece uh, jacket with sunglasses working my corner. Who are you? And okay, okay. And, and it's like, I trust him out because of my condition, it's hard to trust people. But when I met Dan, I trust him instantly. Corey, I was like, okay, cool dude. He was in my corner Tell me what to do, getting me ready. In the second fight of my street piece career, he was, he was in my corner again, getting me pumped, getting me ready, getting me focused, tell me what I need to do. And that was a special fight because that was for my mom. And in the second round, I was going into the third round. I want to share this story with you guys about Corey. I was like my brain started to de destabilize these focus Corey was right there looking at me and said focus when i tell you you unleash okay 30 seconds after boom he tells you and i unleash all hellfire and brimstone onto my opponent and that was like a special moment then later on as we got ready for number three Corey was right there you know gave me ready gave me pump and him and dan coined the phrase that is now part of Monsoon Live lore, the demon has been unleashed. Corey, also on my first ever amateur fight ever, legitimate amateur fight in West Virginia, came up to me wishing me good luck and then gave me a couple tips on handle how to handle a lefty, a southpaw. Corey, you are a brother to me and I thank you and I welcome you into this Hall of Fame. And here's something about Corey. He's always looking out for me, along with Mouse, Sunshine, Face, Matt, uh, Leslie, everyone, Lisa, everybody is always looking out for me. Corey looks out for me when I'm in the corner, so make sure I'm safe. So Corey, thank you, my good friend, and welcome to the Hall of Fame. The last, the next to last one in this set is, he is now my right hand man in the corners along with Corey and Mouse. He had the honor of driving the Stinger for the first time. And he was with me in my first amateur fight. He's been there. He's been my biggest, one of my biggest supporters ever. And that is Daniel Demon Scholl. Dan is freaking the man. Him and Corey running Neutral Corner Boxing Gym is simply the best. These guys 
train hard, they push their fighters, and they get them ready. And he also looks out, making sure I'm matched up right, making sure the fight's fair. And the fact that he took time out of his life to drive with me to West Virginia, and then was in my corner. You've seen the video of him screaming. Dude, I was so full of emotion. Dan imitated exactly what I was feeling. And any fight I do, I do it with Dan and Corey, or just Dan. Who Those are the three. Dan, Corey, Mouse, and Christopher Booker. Those are the guys that are in my corner at all times. This is a special award given to these guys. And I'm trying not to cry because I know these names and I know the stories. I could We could be here for hours sharing stories. I could tell you how much this all means to me. But Dan was there, you know, getting me ready, pumping. He helped fuel the demon to be unleashed. And we're going to be back together uh, this coming Friday at Neutral Corner and Saturday to get me ready for the next round. And he's going to be in my corner every time I fight. So Dan, you also embodied the demon onto me. You gave me the demon. And I'm so proud to welcome you into this year's Hall of Fame class. Daniel Shaw, ladies and gentlemen, going into the original demon. And thank you for welcoming me into your home and giving me all the great advice and wisdom. The final person in this set is the myth, the legend, the man who started this journey. The creator of Street Beast, Christopher Scarface. Chris, this is for you, man. Your work in the community is second to none. Your philosophy of guns down, fists up. You giving this guy a chance to fight. To opening the door for me to go into the fight world. And let me go after my dream. You embody, along with all of these guys, what Monsoon Live is. What I'm about. And I thank you for your friendship. I thank you for the kind words that you said. I save a video, it's in my Facebook, of what you said the first time after my first fight. And when I get discouraged, when I start getting a little sad, because, you know, it's tough being here by myself sometimes, I listen to those words, and I take heart to that. I thank you for matching me up. I thank you for welcoming me into the Street Beast family and letting me be part of this. Chris, welcome to my Hall of Fame. Welcome to the family that is Monsoon Live. And you going in with these 14, I couldn't ask for a better selection of folks to join me. Well, folks, that is it for part one. Like I said, we have another set to go into the Hall of Fame, and that is coming up next, right here on Monster Live. Part one is over. We'll wrap this thing up and tell you what's coming up here on Monster Live. We'll see you for part two.